Welcome back. I'm trying to complete every quest in old school RuneScape without the use of guides, plugins, or the wiki on an Iron Man. Oh yeah, and this is my first Iron Man. This is unguided. We rejoin the journey partway through Recipe for Disaster. Last episode we completed all the requirements to rescue the Lumbridge Guide, so there's not much else to say. Let's rescue him. Let's inspect the Lumbridge Guide to find out what he needs. How can I help the Lumbridge Guide? What better to help the Lumbridge Guide than a cake of guidance? What does it involve? Well, I'm not too familiar with the fine details. You have to go and speak with Treyborn in the Wizard's Tower. He'll know what you need. Okay, Treyborn in the Wizard's Tower. Got no idea what the link is there between the Lumbridge Guide and Treyborn. But let's head over to the Wizard's Tower. Right, we are in the Wizard's Tower. Treyborn is downstairs, I believe. Is he this one? No, that's Cedridor. Okay, Treyborn must be upstairs. There he is, Treyborn. All right, let's talk to him. I need to make something called a Cake of Guidance, and I was told that you could help me out. Mmm, Cake of Guidance. Did you know they're imbued with knowledge and information itself? When eaten, it will give anyone the guidance they need to get back on track. I need to make that cake for the Lumbridge Guide. He's been frozen in time and needs help. Oh, it's a very strange day when the Lumbridge Guide needs guidance. So what do I need to do? You'll need to enchant three ingredients with your own knowledge. Bring me the basic ingredients and I'll help you with the enchantment. Right, what are the ingredients? An eggy peggy, some flowery wowery and some milky wilky. So egg, flour and milk. Okay, cool, egg, flour and some milk. So let's go back to Lumbridge. Pretty sure we can get this downstairs, I think. Uh, flour, egg and a bucket of milk. Right, cool, we've got everything we need. Let's head back. Right, Trayvon, I've got your ingredients. Here's an egg. I need your help with the enchantment. You must imbue it with knowledge itself. You must complete a quiz to enact the enchantment. Okay, let's start. You'll be presented with some people that you may have come across in your travels. It's up to you to recall their names. Guess three correctly without error and you'll succeed in enchanting the egg. Right, okay, cool. Little quiz time. This is quite fun. Who the fuck is that? Oh my god. Was I meant to click on it? I didn't click on it. Who the fuck was that? Okay, that was one of the elves. Oh, man. <laughs> There's no chance I'm getting this right. Okay, I think that that was one of the brothers. He was like the brother of one of the people. It's like a brother and sister in the elf line. I think it's Eluned. Or is it Iselwyn? I don't think it's Larissa. It's not Caroline. It might be Ilfine. I'm feeling like it's Eluned. I did this such a long time ago. I'm going to go with Eluned. That's not right. Fuck. Okay. Right, it looks like I should repeat it, I think. So, we know it's not Eluned. And this is someone else this time. Oh, it is. Oh, that's the king. Okay, that's the king of RD. Uh, Lathas, I think. Pretty sure it's King Lathas. Yeah, I'm going with Lathas. Yes. There we go. And the second character is an egg on my screen. Why is there an egg on my screen? Don't know what that is. Uh, now the second character. Who is that? That's the witch. Betty? Or Etty or something? Hetty. Pretty sure it's Hetty. Yes, there we go. Okay, third and final character. Come on. Don't be someone obscure. Who is that the Varrock guy? That's the Varrock Museum Library dude. I can't remember his name. I think I'll know it when I see it. Reldo. 100% Reldo. Let's go. Yes, there we go. Okay, now what? Well, there is the case of the magic words of the enchantment. Repeat after me. Dandelino Zudribrim. Should I write this down? Or is it... Am I going to have to be asked this? Okay, I didn't say that properly. I'll hold on to the enchanted egg for you until you need it. Right, cool. Egg done. Nice. Now what do we do? Okay, now we need to enchant the other stuff. Let's talk to him again. You must answer three general questions about our lands correctly without getting one wrong. You have as many chances as you need. This is actually quite fun. I'm enjoying this. What doesn't lie between Mauritania and Asgarnia? Um, what doesn't lie between As... I don't... What, what's Asgarnia? I'm not gonna lie. I don't actually know what Asgarnia is. Kingdom of Asg Okay, cool. What doesn't lie between there? I don't know if I'm allowed the map at this point, but I'm sort of cheating. So Draenor Manor does lie between there. The Cook's Guild also lies between there. The Champions Guild is like up here, isn't it? Oh no, the Champions Guild is this one. So that does lie. What's Keep Le Fay? Yep, Keep Le Fay does not. Don't know what it is, but it doesn't. Let's close that down and go. Correct. Sort of cheated there, but who cares? What is the nearest guild to the fishing platform? What fishing platform? What is the nearest guild to the fishing platform? What's the fishing platform? Oh. I didn't know that, that was. Okay, what's the nearest guild to that? Fishing guild is there. The crafting guild is this one, I believe, which is pretty close as well. And the legends guild, isn't that up here somewhere? Where is the legends guild, actually? Oh, no, the legends guild right here. Okay, so it's between the legends guild and the crafting guild. I believe this is the crafting guild. Let's double check. Yep, that is the Crafting Guild. I mean, that looks closer, right? The Legends Guild? I'm gonna go for Legends Guild. Correct. There we go. One more to go. Right. 
a glass vial is to 33 as a glass orb is to... What? I'm taking a picture of that question because I do not understand it right now. And I feel like I'm going to want to see it again. Take a picture of that. Alright, got that. What on earth? Okay, right. A glass... Of, I've got the question now on my phone so I can still see it because I did not understand that. A glass vial is to 33 as a glass orb is to... Oh, I bet that is the level which you can craft it. Oh my god, opening the menu just closed me out of the chat dialogue. I think I have to do that all again. Oh, did that just happen? I think it did. I mean, let's double check anyway. So a glass vial, yeah, it's 33. As a glass orb is to 46 was the answer. And it's just kicked me out. Oh, that is so frustrating. Okay, I have to do it again, I think. So we know we can't open any skill guides. Oh, it's just taking me back to question three. It didn't actually reset. Okay, cool. This is, and I know this answer. How much GP does it take to bribe a guard at the toll gate to Al Karid prior to earning their trust? That's 10 GP. I didn't know it was a bribe. I thought it was some sort of tax. 10 GP. There we go. That's all three answered. Right. Okay, I thought that reset. It just kicked me out of the conversation, but it didn't reset what question I was on, so that's nice. The milk has now been enchanted. Right, cool. Let's talk to him again. Do we get another quiz? Quite enjoying these, to be fair. So you want to enchant him now. You have to take active part by completing a little quiz. Nice. Let's go. Quiz me. For enchanting this item, you'll be shown a selection of items. When you stop viewing this selection, you'll have to answer three questions correctly in a row, and then the flower will be enchanted with guidance. Right, okay. Okay, so this is a selection of items, and I am going to take a picture of those items. There is nothing in my rules to say I cannot do this. I have no idea what I'm going to be asked but let's just do that on my phone there we go okay mate ask away which of the following items were not shown to you right um so an onion seed i believe that i mean to be fair i still need to identify what these items are even though i've got a picture of it uh, a trout was not trout is definitely not in there i'm going for a trout yep nice oh another set and another picture this is not cheating i'm gaining no guidance from this how many types of room were there two there we go third and final set let's go how many weapons were you shown? Three. There we go. That was easy. Definitely made that much easier for myself by taking pictures of each one, but there is nothing wrong with that. So I've enchanted all three ingredients now. Indeed. Best you go bake the cake. You can do it the same way as making an ordinary cake. Nice. Is this it? I'm not gonna lie. If this is the entire subquest, this is so easy. I actually forgot how to make a cake. What do I do to make a cake? Do I just use that on that? I've completely forgotten how to do this. How do you make a cake? Mix flour, eggs, and milk together in a cake tin. Okay, I need a cake tin. Oh, surprise exam. Let's go. Right, let's whack that on Herb Law. Yeah, look at that. 630 XP. Very nice. Right, let's go and grab a cake tin. Probably from Lumbridge, I guess. Cake tin? Yeah, cake tin. Right, cool. Then we use that on that. There we go. We have a raw guide cake. Um, and then I think we just cook this on a stove. I don't think I've ever made a cake before in this game. Yep, using on a stove. Right, let's go upstairs. I am assuming that we can't burn this. Otherwise, I have to do that all again. Maybe I will. Who knows? Let's go. There we go. Cake of Guidance. And I think that's it. I must give the Cake of Guidance to the Lumbridge Guide in the Lumbridge Castle. Right. Let's use the Cake of Guidance on the Lumbridge Guide. Fucking hell, that was it. One quest point, 2.5k cooking, 2.5k magic. That was the easiest subquest of the lot by a mile. Nice, we only have two more council members left to protect. Next up is Evil Dave. Before we can save Evil Dave, we need to complete the Shadow of the Storm quest. And before we can start that, we need to complete the Golem. So let's get started. We start this quest by talking to the broken clay golem outside the ruins of Uza. All he asks is for us to repair him. Okay, that's literally it. Just repairs needed. Right, okay, cool. The golem asked me to repair him. As you can see, I'm dressed up in desert attire. So hopefully I don't have enough water skins to get me through this. All I see is repair him. But I mean, there's a letter here. So let's pick that up. Let's read this. Dearest Varman, I hope this finds you well. Here are the books you asked for. It's been an exciting development closer to home. Another city from the same period has been discovered east of Iraq. We are starting a huge excavation project here. I don't know if the museum will be able to finance your expedition as well as this one. So I fear your current trip will be the last. Your loving Alyssa. Okay, cool. So it looks like this town or city that we're in, this ruined area, perhaps is a, a former dig site. Uh, and a guy called Varman was working on it. And his significant other, by the sounds of it, Alyssa, been positioned in the dig site next to the rock here which apparently is dating from the same sort of age so uh, yeah I mean that doesn't really tell us much about this golem there's golem parts all over the place but I can't pick them up so I'm gonna search these crates nothing there nothing in that nothing there either right okay interesting interesting I mean there's something down there there's a staircase well there's some black mushrooms I don't know what they are but let's grab some uh, let's go down the staircase oh hello it's like an underground temple. There's a bunch of ghosts. There is something over there on the floor. What is that? A strange implement. Looks like we've got some sort of key. Ah, here we go. 
Maybe I should speak to Alyssa at the dig site about the letter I found in Uza. Okay, cool, I can do that, but I also want to open this door. You can't find a way to open the door. Let me try this strange implement on it. Nothing happens. Okay, cool, so it does look like we probably do have to go over to the dig site first because there's nothing else down here as far as I can see. And there's no other items around here. Okay, cool, let's head over to the dig site then and try and find Alyssa. So I just tried to go through this gate, but apparently I can't go that way. I need a certain amount of kudos with the Varrock Museum. So I guess I'll go down here. I think I probably should have actually gone through this gate and gone down, but I've started running there now. So I'm gonna go through this gate hopefully and then go up into the dig site. Right, so we now need to find Alyssa. Not quite sure where she'll be. So let's have a little wander around. Oh, then there she is, Alyssa. I found a letter in the desert with your name on it. Ah, oh, so you found the ruins of Uza. I don't know if it's Uza or Uza, I'm not too sure. I wrote that letter to my late husband when he was exploring there. Oh, jeez, he's dead. That was a great city as well. But the museum could only fund one excavation and this one was closer to home. If you're interested in his expedition, the notes he made are in the library in the exam centre. Okay, cool. Let's go to the exam centre, which I believe is this room just down here. Right, in the library here. So maybe in one of these book shelves. Let's uh, search these. The label on this shelf reads Earth Sciences. All the helpful books have been taken. All right, forget that one. Nothing of interest. Earth Sciences again. Earth Sciences again. Ah, here we go. You find a book on chemicals. I don't think that's what I want. No, I'm going to drop that. I don't think that's what I need. Oh, I think I just got it. Yeah, you find Varman's expedition notes. Right, let's read this. Varman's notes tells us the history of the city through his own findings whilst excavating the site. This is a tale of the city of Uzo. This city was once a thriving state allied with Saradomin at the time of the God Wars of the Third Age, which is around 2,500 years ago. They enjoyed Saradomin's protection until Thamaron, who was Zamorak's chief lieutenant during the God Wars, managed to attack the city from within. He opened a portal directly beneath the temple of the city, and although it was pushed back once, records end, and it's assumed either Thamaron or Zamorak came back and finished the job. Before this final blow, Saradomin's army was stretched thin, and so the city needed its own army. The citizens of Uza were expert magical craftsmen, and so the answer, an army of clay golems. That's where our friend comes in. He's the last of the clay golems that were defending this city. The city itself was turned into a manufacturing hub for these golems towards the end of its time to fight back against Thamaron and Zamorak. Unfortunately, to no avail. Varman's notes tell us that whilst excavating, he removed a statuette from the temple basement for safekeeping. He also tells us that unfortunately, the art of constructing these clay golems has been lost to time, although it is known that although they often follow verbal instructions, the main method of instruction was to place magical words into the golem skull cavity. These were written on papyrus using a naturally occurring source of ink, and their magical power derived from the use of a phoenix tail feather as a pen. I'm sure this will prove handy in our efforts to repair the golem. Right. I've just read Varman's notes and he tells us a lot about the history of the city and also about how golems work. There is some stuff in here about how to kind of set a golem going. By the sounds of it, we have to write some verbal instructions on a piece of papyrus and then put it in the golem skull cavity. Now it said we needed some naturally occurring ink and I assume that is what the black mushroom is for, uh, but I'm not entirely sure to be honest and I don't know who else to talk to about this because there's no other quest log help. So I might talk to a researcher in here and see if they can help me. No, they can't. Right, what about Terry Bolando? No, it looks like he wants to talk about the dig site that's north of here. So I think we probably have to just go back at this point. Um, I think I need some papyrus. And I found a shop recently that sold papyrus and I can't remember where it was. I'm gonna go and check out the shop in Alcarid. I feel like that might sell it. I think the shop that sold papyrus was the one on Karamja, where I did the spit roasting part of the uh, big chumpy bird hunting quest. Right, let's trade this guy. Has he got any papyrus? He doesn't have any papyrus. Right, okay. Yeah, so it says I need a, a source of ink, I need a piece of papyrus to write on, and I need the power derived from the use of a phoenix tail feather as a pen. I haven't got a clue where to find a phoenix tail feather. I'm hoping that's somewhere near the quest area, but either way, I think I need a bit of papyrus. So I'm gonna head over to Karamja because I could definitely get some from the general store there. I found that out earlier. So let's go and grab some of that. Right, so this is the shop. Let's trade her and I believe yeah nice papyrus right cool I'll buy two pieces just in case right so I've got two pieces of papyrus I don't think I need anything else from this shop so let's head back to the desert I'm really hopeful that the phoenix feather is somewhere near the golem because I haven't got a clue where I'd find a phoenix feather otherwise or someone in the desert maybe would there be a phoenix around here I don't know what this area is but we'll go back this way and see if we can explore a little bit more Right, so we're back here, we've got the papyrus, and we have the black mushroom I assume we'll need to use for ink, and I don't know what else to do, so let's talk to the golem again, see if anything's changed. 
Damage severe. No, nothing's changed there. Right, okay, cool. So we need a phoenix feather, apparently. I'm gonna search these crates again. Considering they talk about this place got turned into a kind of production line for these golems, you'd think that there would be a, a way to source these phoenix feathers nearby. There's a crate over there. Let's search this crate. Don't know what this place is. No, nothing in there. Well, there's a bird here, though. Don't know what this bird is, but let's kill it. Might be a phoenix. Doesn't look like one. No, nothing there. Who is this guy? Ali the tea seller. Let's talk to him. Hello. Is there anything I can do for you today? Can I get some tea? Is there anything else I can help you with while you wait? Yeah, how's business here? You seem quite out of the way. It's just I've been having issues with thieves lately. Four to be precise. If I see any shifty carriers, I'll be sure to teach them a lesson. Right, yeah, that doesn't seem to be uh that doesn't seem to be doing anything for me, so let's search some of these crates and see if we can nick some of his stuff. No, okay. Wow, who is that guy? Morgiana. Looks very cool. Who are you? That armor looks mighty fancy. Family heirloom vine passed down from my father. Yeah, it also doesn't say anything to me, so again, not ideal. Who's this person? Cassim. What is this place? This guy looks like a mage. Right, he doesn't tell me anything either. I'm really confused at what this place is, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie. Seems to be a bunch of people around here, but I don't know what they're here for. Yeah, I don't know what this place is. He doesn't tell me anything either. Okay, not to worry. I don't know where to get this phoenix feather. I think maybe I could go back to Alyssa and ask her if she ever had a conversation with Varman about phoenix feathers or something like that. I mean, I can use this papyrus and this black mushroom, but nothing happens there. I think my assumption around the fact that this was so in the book, it describes this 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 city being a, a bit of a production line for these golems. So I was kind of assuming that there would be some sort of phoenix source around here. I still kind of have that vibe, but apparently not. I don't know what that is. Let's go up this way and see what's up here. No, nothing this way, it seems. Anything around the back? No, nothing here either. I'm sort of just wondering, actually. I've just inspected this uh, broken clay golem, and it just says an animated statue with a lot of clay missing. I'm wondering if I could just get some clay and just use it on it and see if that does anything. Because it's a clay golem, right? And then maybe if I do that, it might sort itself out a little bit. I mean, let's give that a go, because I haven't got much else to go on. I'm going to try that first. I'll bring a bit of normal clay and a bit of soft clay. I don't know what will work, if any. And then if not, I'll probably go back to Alyssa, because I don't really know what else to do. Um, so let's get some clay. Where can we get clay from? Can we get clay from down here? Maybe we can get clay from Varrock. Let's go to Varrock. Right, some clay rocks here. So let's just uh let's mine this all right cool so we've got eight clay again i'm not too sure if it needs to be soft or not so so let's make four of them into soft clay nothing interesting happened oh, i can't remember how to make soft clay do i have to use it on a bucket of water instead rather than a fountain that does make sense all right so let's fill these buckets up in the fountain and then we use the bucket of water on the clay there we go cool right now let's head back to the golem and see if we can stick this clay to him right so we've got four normal clay and four soft clay and i'm just gonna head over there really and just see if it works by just using it on him if that doesn't work then we'll head back to Alyssa in for a rock talk to her and see if she knows any mention of a phoenix feather because that's what stumped me at the moment i think i have everything else to put the instructions into his head in the form of papyrus and the black mushroom but i need a phoenix feather to actually write the instructions and i don't even know what the instructions are to be honest so that's another thing Right, golem mate, where are you at? Right, let's try this. Use soft clay on the broken clay golem. There we go. It actually works. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think about doing that sooner. You apply some clay to the golem's wounds. The clay begins to harden in the hot sun. Right, let's do it again. You fix the golem's legs. Again. The golem is nearly whole. And one more. You repair the golem with a final piece of clay. Oh my god, I had just the right amount. That is so nice. Damage repaired. He looks a bit happier now. Thank you. My body and mind are fully healed. Now I must complete my task by defeating the great enemy. This is the Theramon guy that we just read about in the book. A great demon. It broke through from its dimension to attack the city. The Golem army is created to fight it. Many were destroyed, but we drove the demon back. The demon is still wounded. You must open the portal so that I can strike the final blow and complete my task. Uh, was that chat box just meant to end? I don't know if it was. Okay, I think it was. How do I open the portal? The four statuettes in the temple must be turned to the correct pattern. I do not know the pattern. Golems are not permitted to open the portal. Okay, cool. What makes you think you can defeat the demon? If not I, then who else? No living being can destroy the demon. That is why the golems were created in the first place. But the demon was badly wounded, and elder demons heal very slow indeed. It was almost dead when it retreated into its own dimension. Now that I'm repaired, I'll be able to destroy it easily. There's one guy just going to take on this demon. What a fucking guy. To open the portal, I'll need to find a missing statuette. According to Varma's notes, he removed the statuette during his expedition. So I need to find the statuette somewhere. Maybe in one of these boxes, now that I've got this part in the quest. Where would he have hidden it? Would he have sent it to Alyssa? Let's go downstairs and see what I actually need to do first. 
So do I not need the phoenix feather then? Is that not part of this quest? Ah, oh, here we go. Yep. So these are the statuettes, you see, and there is one missing here. Uh, there's a key there, and that's the strange implement, but I don't know where this guy would have hidden the statuette, and it doesn't say it in this book. Right, where else might we find this statue then? Um, there's no other chests around here. I feel like maybe he might have sent it to Alyssa. What about this, uh, is that a crate I can search there, maybe? No, nothing there. Right, I think we probably need to go and talk to Alyssa, because I think she might tell me where he might have hidden it, because at the moment I'm a bit stuck, so... Yeah, let's go back to the rock. Right, let's talk to Alyssa. Here we go. Where's the statuette that Varman took back from Uza? It was the only thing we had to show from that expedition. Now it's on display in the Varrock Museum. Right, do I need to nick it? That'd be cool. I mean, I do, there's a thieving requirement for this quest. Uh, 25 thieving is required. I think we have to nick it from the museum. Let's go. Right, where is it? Doesn't look like it's on any of these. Let's go upstairs. Ah, oh, there it is. Pretty sure that's it, right? Study display case. Yeah, this is it. Okay, can I just open it? The cabinet is locked. Oh, is this what this is for? The strange implement? No, that'd be very random. How do I get this? Uh, maybe I can talk to the historian? Or Torix? I don't know who these people are, but... Hello! No, this guy doesn't seem to be telling me anything. Yeah, no, he doesn't. What about this guy? Historian minus. Um, do I have some information? Oh, I think this is to get kudos, isn't it? Oh, nice, I've got an old lamp. I think that's an XP lamp. Okay, this is great. I'm accidentally getting a lot of kudos and maybe getting some XP lamps as well. I think this is a quest thing. So basically, however many quest points I have, I'm just getting a ton of kudos for it. Nice. Uh, can I use this on Herblor? 1k XP. That's very nice. And 43 Herblor. We will take that. How do I get into this case then? There must be a key somewhere. Can I pickpocket anyone? Let's go back downstairs. Maybe there's a guy I can pickpocket who has a key. Um, oh yeah, I can. There you go. Pickpocket curator Haig Helen. Yes, you still a tiny key, and hopefully no one spots me doing this. You open the cabinet and retrieve the statuette. Perfect, right, I've got it. Uh, let's go back to the desert. I am somewhat concerned about doing this, I'm not going to lie. Apparently a demon's going to come out, um, and all I've got is a clay golem on my side. So I think I probably should take a weapon, just in case I have to get in combat with this demon. Right, so we have got a weapon, just in case it all kicks off, and we have the statuette as well. So let's head back to the golem, try and figure out this puzzle, hopefully open the door, hopefully the golem then comes in and kills the demon, and everything is golden, pretty much. I don't feel like that's going to happen, but you never know. Right, so we are downstairs, let's pop this statuette into its little alcove, um, let's equip our weapon just in case it all kicks off, uh, and then we have to do some sort of puzzle. I'm going to guess that maybe they have to match these four statues i can't see any other kind of signs as to what they might match or they all face the door i don't know if this can can they face straight forward oh they can't even face straight forward okay so maybe they have to all match the uh, all have to face the door let's try that oh yeah it worked the doors grind open do i enter it shall i go and tell the golem i should probably go and tell the golem i'm not going to go in there myself i need my mate down here where is he you must open the portal so i can defeat the great demon i've done it golems cannot pass through the portal but the demon will soon emerge i must ready myself for combat okay do we just wait or do i enter it i have a feeling that i have to enter it i'm gonna go for it got teleports if i need to get out of here whoa oh i have a vague memory of this place there's no one here though Oh, that's the demon. It looks like the demon didn't survive after all. It's dead. It's over here, look. The examine text. Okay, cool, so we can go back and tell it that the demon died. Well, that's good news. The golem's task is complete. He can go and be free. It's okay, the demon's dead. The demon must be defeated. It's already dead, mate. You don't understand. I saw the demon skeleton. It must have died of its wounds. Demon must be defeated. Task incomplete. You've done it, mate. Task incomplete. How am I going to convince you? Oh, maybe I can go and get his head. I can show it part of the skeleton. Hmm, how do I do this then? What's this implement thing for? Is that for this? Sticking that in it? I feel like I should be... Can I use a pickaxe on it? No. How can I prove to this guy that it's dead? Maybe this throne? Use the pickaxe on the throne? I need to get this skeleton's head, I think. How can I do that, though? How else would I do that? I mean, I can't use my scimitar on it, no. Um, I'd, like, use a knife on it to, like, kind of... Pick it off. Nah, it doesn't make sense. Maybe a hammer to smash it off. Oh, maybe this is where the, the note and the papyrus comes into play. I can just tell it that it's dead. But that means I still need a phoenix feather, which I don't have and I've got no idea how to get. I really hope it's not that. Let me talk to him again. No, there's nothing. Man, this is tough. This is apparently a short quest. I've been at this for like an hour now. I think I have to put instructions in its head, but I can't. But can I use a normal feather, perhaps? This is fucking tough, man. And there's nothing in the quest log either. Just says I should find a way to convince the golem that his task is done. Alright, let's go to the bank real quick and see if we can use a normal feather to write on a piece of papyrus. I do need a phoenix feather, I think, and I really do not know where to get that. Um, what else can I do? Is there a magical phoenix feather in the museum? I mean, I may as well go and check. It might have been like an artifact that was brought back as well. 
Right, let's go back to Alyssa. She might be able to tell me something. I doubt it, but she might. I think it definitely is this phoenix tail feather because this is essentially how you can give instructions to the golem. It says these will be used for long term or important tasks and would override any verbal instructions. And their magical power is derived from the use of a phoenix tail feather as a pen. Do phoenixes even exist in this game? There's no bird from a hunting perspective that are phoenixes, unless this crimson swift is one. I don't think I've ever seen a phoenix in this game. Let's talk to Alyssa again. Mm, she doesn't tell me anything. No. <sighs> yeah, it looks a bit like she's kind of used up all of her chat options, so that is good. Or maybe I should have talked to one of the museum staff about it. A phoenix feather? Yeah, I should have, I should have spoken to one of the, the staff members. Let's go back to the museum. Let's talk to the curator. Maybe he'll know. What's the information booth? This is interesting. I don't think these people are going to help me with the feather thing, to be honest. Who on earth would I talk to about a phoenix feather? I feel like it must be in the desert somewhere. I think I'm just going to walk around the desert, you know. I feel like it would be so random just to have a requirement for a phoenix tail feather, but have it absolutely nowhere near the related quest. Kind of thinking that the phoenix probably has to be somewhere in the desert. So I kind of think the only thing we can do is just walk it. Is just walk around the entire desert. Right, let's see if we can find ourselves a phoenix here. Pfft, I would expect it to be around this side, so let's search this side first. And then if it's not around the entirety of this bit, I will kind of head down, maybe? Oh, I'm getting attacked by a camel. Right, let's walk up this way. Oh, what's that? Oh no, it's the golden warbler. That's one of the birds I've already seen. I mean, I could look at just hunting a bird, but uh, there's, there's no hunting requirement for this quest. Only thieving and crafting. There's no combat requirement either, so it assumes that the, the feather itself probably isn't from an actual living bird. Oh my god. Yes, there it is fucking right here. Desert Phoenix. I did not expect to just see that. Yes, let's go. Right, okay, cool. We have the feather. Uh, does that mean we can now just use the feather on the mushroom? You stab the mushroom with the feather, but nothing happens. Perhaps you should crush the mushroom instead. Right, cool. Yes, I was right. It was just nearby. Oh, I'm so happy about that. That could have been a massive fucking blocker. The fact that I walked right here as well, that is insane. I don't know if there's more than one, but yeah, I could have been like walking the entire desert before I found that, but I came to the right place right off the bat. Okay, let's go back to the bank and grab a pestle and mortar, because I think I need to crush up this mushroom first. Sometimes things just work out i mean i say that i've been at this for like an hour now but still finding that feather i tried a couple of other things first but as soon as i kind of just thought maybe it's in the desert yeah i got quite lucky with that for sure let's grab a pestle and mortar and then let's use the mushroom on the pestle and mortar nice you have no vial to put the dye in it goes everywhere bollocks right let's grab an empty vial then and now we need to go back and get another mushroom because i only have one on me so let's head back to the ruins all right we are back Hopefully for the final time, let's grab a mushroom. And then we use the mushroom on the pestle and mortar. We have the vial here, there we go. And then we use the phoenix feather on the papyrus. Oh no, I have to use the phoenix feather on the ink first. Nice. And then we use the phoenix feather on the papyrus. You write on the task, your task is done. And then we stick this in the golem's head. You can't see a way to put the instructions in the golem's skull. Uh, let's talk to it. My task is incomplete. You must open the portal so I can feed. Yeah told you he's dead. Uh, how do I put it in his skull? You can't see a way to put the instructions in the golem skull. So I've got the instructions now, but I can't bloody put it in the golem. Oh my god, this is getting... Every step is difficult. Oh, is it, this, is it the implement thing? Yes, it is. You insert the key and the golem's skull hinges open. There we go, and then whack it in. Eh? The golem skull shuts automatically. Oh, is it too late? Let me do it again. Yes, there we go. New instructions. Updating program. Task complete. Thank you. Now my mind is at rest. There we go, you complete the golem. One quest point, 1k crafting, 1k thieving. Right, now it's time to take on Shadow the Storm. Let's go.